from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville here on the Lexicon pregame show. We will step aside for one minute and then come back with the starting lineups. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. East Main, Russellville. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. KCJC Darknell Russellville. River Country. KCJC. Welcome back in to the Lexicon pregame show. Lexicon can help you reach your goals and success. Go to lexicon-inc.com slash football to learn more. These are the starters for today's game. First for our guests from St. Louis, Missouri, the Maryville University Saints, two and six this season. They're coached by Britta Hand, who's in her second season as the head coach at Maryville with a record of 17 and 19. Starting at the guards, Gracie Stugert, a 5'7 junior from St. Louis, averaging 5.4 points, 4.3 rebounds, and four assists per game. Antoinette Musarisi, a 5'6 graduate student from Kansas City, Missouri, 14 points. 4 points, 3.9 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 1.6 steals per game. Hayden Pitch, a 5'5 senior from Prior Lake, Minnesota, 10.9 points, 2.1 rebounds per game. And the fourth guard, Carson Fearday, a 5'7 graduate student from Effingham, Illinois, Carson Fearday, averaging 14.6 points and 3.5 rebounds per game. The center for Maryville is Carly Feldman, a 6'2 graduate student from Bremen, Indiana, 8.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 1.5 block shots per game. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns, three and two this season, coached by Dave Wilbers in his 17th season at Arkansas Tech with a record of 345 and 123. Brad Palmer is the assistant coach. The student assistants are Bailey Smith and Nancy Kaufman. Starting at the guards, Patius McDaniel, 5'10 freshman, Springdale, 17.2 points, 6.8 rebounds, 2.2 assists, 2.2 steals. Haley Wyrick, 5'8 sophomore, Piercy, 10.4 points and two rebounds per game, making her fourth career start here today for the Golden Sun. Next, it's Alex Hill, a 5'10 junior from Harrison, 15.2 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.4 assists per game. The forwards for Arkansas Tech are Dana Thompson, 6-foot junior, Miami, Florida, 9.3 points and 6.8 rebounds per game, and Julie Wagner, a 6'2 junior from Humboldt, Tennessee, 8 points and 5 rebounds per game. It's the Golden Suns and the Saints from Tucker Coliseum. This has been the Lexicon pregame show lexicon can help you reach your goals and success go to lexicon-inc.com slash football to learn more from the alathus realty broadcast position we will step aside for two minutes and then come back with the opening tip this is arkansas tech basketball on the eab sports network Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is. And uh, make sure that uh, you got your animal needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op. We're located on East Main in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Ball is here and winter is on the way. Burris and to Market Russellville wants you to think about upgrading to more efficient doors and windows to help offset those heating costs. And it's not a bad time to think about upgrading your home office furniture for when you get stuck working from home. Burris and to Market, 113 South Arkansas, Russellville, or phone at 968-4888. Burris and to Market,
our team that brings Valley Conference this year in assists at four per game. Ball goes left wing, received there by Carson Fearday. Fearday dribbles right. She's in the top 15 of their league in scoring at 14.6 points per game. Right side ball possessed now by Antoinette Musarisi. Musarisi, a three-time All-Great Lakes Valley Conference selection for the Saints. Stugart with it, goes left, hands it off on the wing. Three-point try on the way. It is no good, and the try by Hayden Pitch goes over the top of the backboard after bounding off the rim, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Into the front court on the dribble comes Alex Hill. Hill over the timeline. Maryville setting up a 2-3 trapping zone defense here. Alex Hill gets rid of it on the right wing for Patience McDaniel. Back to Hill. Hill surveys the defense, gives to Haley Wyrick, fakes the three, drives, feeds it down low for Dana Thompson. Turnaround jumper up and no good for Thompson. Wagner able to tip the rebound to Dana. Then Thompson loses it, and it's stolen away by Antoinette Musarisi of Maryville. Stugart brings it into the front court for the Saints. Hands it off top of the Cape Fear Day. Now Musarisi again dribbles to the free throw line. Cut off there by Thompson and Wyrick. Hand off to Stugart. Gracie Stugart dribbles right. Feed at the free throw line for Carly Feldman. Feldman dribbles left. Gives it to Fear Day. Fear Day behind the back dribble. 12 to shoot. Passes left wing for Musarisi. Musarisi guarded by Haley Wyrick. Musarisi backs her down. Gets 12 feet from the goal. Throws it out on the right wing. Pass received by Pitch. Pitch drives. Misses the runner. Rebound. Loose. And it's going to be a shot clock violation against Maryville as the Pitch try, try failed to draw iron. Just went off the backboard. It'll be Alex Hill to bring it up. The Golden Suns calling on Alex to be the primary ball handler here at the beginning of the game. Clara Grace Prater and Jackie Rollins have played point guard much of the year for the Golden Suns, but Coach Dave Wilbers trying something different here at the outset of this game. Haley Wyrick tries a three. It is good. Wyrick with the three-pointer from the right wing. Haley Wyrick with her ninth three-pointer of the team of the season. She leads the team in that category, and Arkansas Tech has the first three points of the game. Good to see that confidence continue to build for Haley. Carly Feldman playing her 129th game of college basketball. Gives it to Musarisi. Her left-handed layup is no good. Defensive rebound. Patience McDaniel. McDaniel pushes it. Spin move to the rim. Layup good. And Golden Suns have scored the first five points of the game. Here with 7.58 to go in the opening quarter. Great spin move that time. Tracy Stugard had four points and four rebounds, and they lost to Quincy on Saturday. Hands it off left wing for Pitch. Pitch also had four points against Quincy. Beats it down low for Feldman. Turnaround try, blocked by Dana Thompson. Feldman gets her own rebound, goes back up to the left hand, short, and then on the rebound, a whistle and a takedown against Carly Feldman of Maryville University. And she took Julie Wagner to the floor. It is Feldman's first, the team's first, and the change for Maryville. End of the game is Annika Plemer, a 5'9 freshman guard from Brookfield, Wisconsin. Plemer averaging 1.8 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. She replaces Antoinette Musarisi. Yeah, Feldman just went up for the rebound, got too much on her. Momentary break here is one of the Saints 
It is Carson Fierde gets her shooting lead tied. And now Alex Hill will bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Alex had five points, two rebounds, two assists, and two steals in the loss to Washita on Saturday. She comes in today, 10th in the Great American Conference in scoring. Gets it back from Wyrick on the right wing. Alex's three is good. The Golden Suns have knocked down their first two tries from beyond the arc. And Arkansas Tech out to an eight to nothing lead here in the first three minutes at Tucker Coliseum. It's great seeing that three point shooting going down. Here day gives top of the key to Carly Feldman, who comes in today with 1,460 career points and over 1,000 career rebounds. A steal by Haley Wyrick. She goes the length of the floor and lays it in. Haley Wyrick with five points in the early going and a timeout for Maryville. Arkansas Tech has scored the first 10 points of the game. And three minutes deep, the Saints want to talk about it. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Chicken Mart is having a gigantic customer appreciation event by one. It is a the Arkansas location. Over half the store, one back and one back for free sale items. Breaded chicken tenders, breaded chicken fries, breaded chicken nuggets, boneless and skinless chicken breast, chicken wings, and bread and popcorn chicken. Buy one bag and one bag for free. While supplies last, all of your supplies are limited. position, Arkansas Tech leading 10 to nothing over Maryville. The Golden Suns four out of five from the field so far, including two three-pointers. Maryville is 0 for four from the field thus far. And now the Saints turn the basketball over as Stubert's pass from the left baseline intended for Plumer goes out of bounds. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. End of the game for Maryville is Faith Hawthorne, a six foot one junior center from Shawnee, Kansas. She averages 4.3 points, 2.8 rebounds per game. Patience McDaniel drives the Golden Suns. Her layup is good. Patience McDaniel with four points, 6.39 to go in the first, and it is a 12 to nothing lead for Arkansas Tech. Top of the key, ball possessed by Annika Plumer, gives it up right wing, three point try by Pitch is no good. Defensive rebound, Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Maryville now 0 for 5 from the field with three turnovers. Hill drives, tries to shoot over a double team and draws a foul. It'll be two free throws for Alex Hill with six minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. The foul is called on Faith Hawthorne, her first, the team second. And two more changes for Maryville as Antoinette Musarisi returns. And in for the first time for Maryville, it is Riley Mulvaney, a 5'11 senior forward from Kirkwood, Missouri. Mulvaney averages 1.3 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. Second try for, our first try for Alex Hill, I should say, is up and good. The 6.20 mark of the first quarter, Arkansas Tech leads 13 to nothing. The second try for Hill is on its way, and it is also good. A 14 to nothing lead for Arkansas Tech. Could not have asked for a better start than this for the Golden Suns, coming off that disappointing loss to Washita on Saturday. Top of the key, Musarisi with it, fake the shot, gets it on the left wing for Mulvaney. Mulvaney diagonal class through the lane to Hawthorne. She can't get the eight footer to go. It was influenced by Patience McDaniel and rebounded by Dana Thompson. Now back to McDaniel. She leaves it with Wyrick for three. Count it on the right wing. Haley Wyrick is two out of two from three point range. She has eight points in all, and it is a 17 to nothing lead for Arkansas Tech. Three point try, Stugard. No good from the top of the key. That one hints of desperation, and Haley Wyrick has the defensive rebound down for Arkansas Tech. Suns into the front court. Alex Hill dribbles at the top of the key. Hill guarded out front by Musarisi. Shot clock at 19. Pass to the right wing for Wyrick. Wyrick dumps it in for Dana Thompson. Thompson backs her defender down. They're going to call Dana for an offensive foul. And she put her shoulder into the defender, Riley Mulvaney. The foul on Thompson is her first. Team foul number one. And the basketball back to Maryville as Arkansas Tech commits its second turnover of the afternoon. Yeah, if you start backing up, he should keep the shoulder up. Gracie Stuger passes top of the key to Antoinette Musarisi. Musarisi drives, bank shot is not there. Defensive rebound, Dana Thompson. And now Maryville has missed its first eight tries from the field. 
Alex Hill into the front court, dribbles to the right wing, picked up there by Riley Mulvaney. Hill wants to drive, gets all the way to the basket, layup no good, rebound tipped out, it's controlled for Maryville by Riley Mulvaney. Mulvaney over the timeline, passes left wing to Plemer, Plemer for three, it is no good. Mulvaney gets the offensive rebound, looks for help and throws it instead to Arkansas Tech's Alex Hill. Turnover number four for Maryville. Alex in transition to the rim, layup no good, whistle foul, and two more free throws for Alex Hill. Foul on Maryville is on Antoinette Mussarini. Antoinette Mussarini's first personal foul, team foul number three. And the Golden Suns make a couple of changes as Dana Thompson and Julie Wagner check out. They are replaced by Shelly Butler, six foot junior forward, Nassau Bahamas, 4.8 points, 4.8 rebounds per game. And Elena Lijo, a six foot five sophomore center from Alcarana, Spain. Lijo averaging two points and three rebounds per contest. Alex Hill made the first free throw. She collects her sixth point of the afternoon. Now she will shoot for her seventh. It is no good. Defensive rebound for Maryville by Faith Hawthorne. 4.45 to go in the first. Arkansas Tech leads 18 to zero. Top of the key, Faith Hawthorne with the basketball for Maryville. Throws it out to the top of the key. Errant pass saved by Fear Day. Fear Day from 10 feet. It rattles out no good. Offensive rebound, Mulvaney gives it back to Fear Day. And on her way to the rim, Carson Fear Day is fouled. She will shoot two free throws. It'll be the third, or I should say the second team foul. No, it's gonna be the, yeah, it'll be the second team foul against Arkansas Tech. The personal foul is assessed to Shelly Butler. And again, that's team foul number two. Carson Fear Day will be the shooter for Maryville. Fear Day, a career 74% free throw shooter. So far this season, she is just 57% from the line. Makes the first one. Fear Day had 24 points, a new career high, uh, or should say matched her career high against Quincy University on Saturday. She was 10 of 16 from the field in scoring those 24 points. She makes both free throws, the first two points of the game for Maryville. And the Arkansas Tech lead is 18 to two. Jackie Rollins has checked in for Arkansas Tech, 5'10", sophomore guard, Mustang, Oklahoma. She finds pictures to Daniel. Daniel's 15-foot jumper from the left baseline is true. It is 20-2, Arkansas Tech. Right side, Hawthorne, bounce pass, looking down low for Plemer. Plemer able to shovel it out to Mulvaney. On it goes to Fear Day. Three-pointer good from the left lane for Carson Fear Day. And after five minutes and 56 seconds, the Saints have their first field goal of the day on the three-pointer by Fear Day, who has all five of Maryville's points thus far. Drive by Haley Weirich. She lost it out of bounds. Turnover number three for Arkansas Tech. And the basketball belongs to Maryville. On the floor for Maryville right now, Riley Mulvaney, along with Gracie Stugart. Also out there, Faith Hawthorne, along with Carson Fearday and Annika Plemer. It's Patience McDaniel, Shelley Butler, Jackie Rollins, Elena Leho, and Haley Wyrick for Arkansas Tech. Drive by Fearday, stops 12 feet away, jump shot no good. Defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech by Haley Wyrick. Wyrick on the fast break, gives to Patience McDaniel. McDaniel stops the right elbow, hesitation move, tried to drive, cut off on that effort by Plumer. Ball goes into the post for Leho. Leho pivots, throws it back out to the right wing for McDaniel. Shot clock at 14, 319 to go first quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 20 to five. Haley Wyatt gets a pick from Leho, looks for on the pick and roll, but it's not there. Bounce pass to Butler, out to McDaniel. Patience will have to make a play with three on the shot clock. McDaniel goes right, had it stripped away and stolen. Steal for Maryville by Annika Fleamer, and the Saints go the other direction. Fear Day to Stugert, back to Fear Day. Now out front for Hawthorne. Her three-point try is no good. Rebounded for Arkansas Tech by Jackie Rollins. Suns into the front court. Arkansas Tech out-rebounding Maryville so far, 10-5. Alex Hill will check in for Arkansas Tech, the next dead ball, and we will get that dead ball right now on a foul against Maryville as Elena Leho of Arkansas Tech and Faith Hawthorne of Maryville battled for position. Hawthorne called for the foul. And it is team foul number four. Haley Wyrick gets a breather for Arkansas Tech with Alex Hill back in the game. Also changes for Maryville as Carly Feldman replaced Faith Hawthorne. Hayden Pitch is also back in for Maryville. Alex Hill for three from the right side. Off the glass and good for Alex Hill. Everything going right in this first quarter for the Golden Suns. That's nine points for Alex. Hill is two out of two from three point range. And Arkansas Tech leads it 23 to five. Left wing, wide open look at three for Fear Day is good. Carson Fear Day with the three pointer from the left wing. Just a 29% career three point shooter, but she's knocked down two here in the first quarter. And it's 23 to eight, Arkansas Tech. 
Left baseline, Jackie Rollins fakes the jumper, drives, gets to the rim, can't finish the layup. Rebound, whistle, and a foul, I believe, against Maryville. Looked like they probably had Carly Feldman. Here with 2-10 to go in the first quarter. It is on Carly Feldman, that's two on her. Team foul number five, and so it'll be free throws for Shelly Butler, replacing Elena Leho for Arkansas Tech. It is Sarah Edmondson, a six-foot sophomore forward from Flower Mound, Texas. Edmondson averaging 0.6 points and 3.6 rebounds per game. Shelly Butler to the free throw line, where she is eight out of 12, 67% so far this year. That one is off the front iron, no good. Arkansas Tech three of five from the free throw line so far today. The Golden Suns shooting 69% from the free throw line this season. That ranks ninth among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. Butler makes the second one, and she'll be replaced by Dana Thompson. Two minutes, 10 seconds to go, first quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, and Maryville 8. The Golden Suns 8 out of 10 from the floor, including 4 out of 4 from three-point range. Maryville just 2 of 14 from the field, 2 of 7 from three-point. Gracie Stugert dribbles right, and as she does, away from the basketball, a whistle and a holding foul against Arkansas Tech's Dana Thompson. Her second personal is team foul number three. Gracie Stugert will make the inbound pass for Maryville. Stugert came into the day tied for fifth in the Great Lakes Valley Conference in assists. She is in her first year with the Saints after playing two seasons at Truman State. Top of the key, ball possessed by Hayden Pitch, gives right wing for Fear Day. Fear Day's three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound, Arkansas Tech by Alex Hill. Alex pushes it, able to get away from Busarisi, goes to the right side of the lane, and drug her pivot foot. Turnover for Arkansas Tech is its fifth of the opening quarter. The ball back to Maryville with a minute 42 to go in the opening period. A reminder, the Wonder Boys are at home tonight at 7 p.m. against Central Baptist College. Hope you'll make plans to join us then. Another foul against Arkansas Tech away from basketball. This time it was Jackie Rollins with a push. Rollins first is team foul number four. And Maryville will throw it in from the baseline with 25 on the timer. The inbound pass will be made by Gracie Stuger. Gets it in left side to a new face in the game, Cameron Winch. Winch is a 6'3 freshman center from Bon Terre, Missouri. She averages two points and four rebounds per game. Going up for the layup try is Cameron Winch, and she is fouled. Ball in Arkansas Tech. Downs third. Is indeed the third personal foul on Dana Thompson. Still a minute 26 to go in the first quarter, so that may be the last we see of Dana until the second half. She is replaced by Julie Wagner. Now checking in for the first time this afternoon for Arkansas Tech, it is Clara Grace Prater, 5'10", junior guard from Bologna. 2.6 points, 2.8 rebounds, and two assists per game. First try for Cameron Winch is no good. Winch, a true freshman out of North County High School in Missouri. Missing that first free throw. This is her first trip to the free throw line as a collegiate player. She makes the second one. A minute 26 to go in the first quarter. Arkansas Tech leads 24 to nine. Alex Hill into the front court. They're gonna try to run a trap at Alex. She picks up her dribble, gives to Edmondson. Edmondson finds Wagner all alone. Lay up, up, and good. What a look by Sarah Edmondson. First to get herself open to be the relief valve for Alex Hill, and then to find Julie Wagner for the easy two. Good job by Julie to go ahead and break toward the basket, get open. Aiden pitch drives, bounce pass for Winch on the right block. She throws it back out to the top of the key for Stugert. Gracie Stugert dribbles right, gets a pick from Winch. Now back to her left, gets to the free throw line, leaves it out front with Fear Day. She drives into the paint, 10-foot jumper, no good. Winch, offensive rebound, and a held ball is called between Edmondson and Winch, and the possession arrow favors the Golden Suns. Another good play there by Sarah Edmondson. Gets the basketball back for the Golden Suns with 48.4 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Good job fighting for that rebound. Suns leading 26-9. Clara Grace Prater, Alex Hill, Sarah Edmondson, along with Patius McDaniel and Julie Wagner are the five on the floor. And now we will have an offensive foul against the Golden Suns. Sarah Edmondson called for setting a moving screen. It is her first personal foul. And the basketball belongs to Maryville. 37.3 seconds to go in the opening quarter. That'll also go into the books as turnover number six for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court comes Stugert. They reverse it right side for Carson Fearday. Fearday has eight of their nine points here in the first quarter. She's the only Saint who has made a field goal so far. Hayden Pitch picks up her dribble on the right baseline. 14 on the shot clock. 
20 seconds left in the quarter. They swing it all the way to the top of the key for Winch. Winch dribbles left, bounce pass for Fear Day out to Musarisi. Musarisi thought about a three, three to shoot now. Gives it back to Fear Day. Deep three-pointer is no good from the left wing. And on the rebound, a whistle and a foul against Cameron Winch of Maryville for a push from behind on that rebound. It is Winch's first personal foul, and it'll be two free throws for Arkansas Tech with 5.7 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The shooter will be Julie Wagner. Wagner so far this season for Arkansas Tech is four out of seven, 57% from the free throw line. First try up and good for Julie, a career 58% free throw shooter. She had seven points and a season high seven rebounds against Washita on Saturday. Her second free throw is also good. 5.7 seconds left in the quarter. Suns by 19. Maryville into the front court. Stugert all the way to the basket. And on the layup try, before the layup try, a traveling violation on Stugert. Turnover number five for Maryville. And the Suns will pretty much just be able to throw it in here. The final seven tenths of a second will elapse. And then we will move along to the second quarter here at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville with our score, Arkansas Tech 28 and Maryville 9. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. career rebounds. Right wing Clara Grace Prater dribbles left, picks up her dribble with the right elbow extended, gives it on the wing for Patience McDaniel. Daniel, the true freshman out of Springdale Harbor High School, misses the 17-footer from the right wing, and Antoinette Musarisi has the defensive rebound for the Maryville Saints. Musarisi gets to the free throw line on the other end, cut off there by Alex Hill. Hawthorne sets a pick, Musarisi steps back for three, it is no good. Rebound, tipped around, and Stugert saves it in for the Saints. Able to save it in for a teammate, Hayden Pitch. Pitch drives, running left-hander, tough shot, no good. Defensive rebound by Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. The Golden Suns are out rebounding the Saints 16-6. Hitting the boards hard so far. 
right wing Alex Hill. Gets a ball screen from Sarah Edmondson. Musarisi goes under the screen to stay with her. Hill drives and a reach-in foul committed by Antoinette Musarisi. It is her second personal foul for the three-time all-conference selection for the Saints. We will get Musarisi out of the game. She is replaced by Carly Feldman, who herself has two personal fouls. You may not see her till second half. McDaniel gets a break for Arkansas Tech. She is replaced by Jordan Rollins, a six foot one freshman forward from Mustang, Oklahoma. Jordan averaging 1.6 points and 0.6 rebounds per game. Inbound for Wagner. Julie knocks it down. The 16 footer from the right baseline. Julie to the same product and a 32 to nine lead for Arkansas Tech. Julie Wagner with six points. She's two out of three from the field and two out of two at the free throw line. Falling down at the basketball was Hayden Pitts. She got a big herself into that one. She pump faked a pass and then just lost her footing in that process. The basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech as Maryville commits its seventh turnover. The Golden Suns now plus one on the turnover march. Maybe not as much moving the feet, but when she hit the floor, that, that off the wall. That'll do it every time. Alex Hill into the front court. Well, almost every time. Pass to the right <laughs> wing for Jordan Rollins. Gives it up on the wing for Julie Wagner. Now Clara Grace Frater, a left-handed dribble at the top of the key. Passes left wing for Jordan Rollins. Rollins dumps it in for Edmondson. Edmondson kicks it out right side for Jordan Rollins. Rollins collides with her teammate, Clara Grace Frater. That leads to a traveling violation for Rollins. And the turnovers are now even at seven apiece. It'll be Gracie Stugert to bring it up for Maryville. Hometown player from right there in St. Louis, Missouri, playing her 65th game at the collegiate level this afternoon. She pulls up inside the top of the key, gives it on the right wing for Maddie Meehan, who's in for the first time. Meehan, a 5'9 senior forward from Elkhorn, Nebraska. Meehan averaging 0.3 points and 0.5 rebounds per game during her 73rd game at the collegiate level. They pass to Meehan in the right corner. Her three-pointer is good. Maddie Meehan had seven points in the meeting between these two teams. She cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 32 to 12. That is the first field goal of the second quarter for Maryville. Just its third of the game. Pass in the right wing, it's in it for Jordan Rollins. Bobbled it for a moment, but able to get it back. 6.34 to go until halftime. 11 on the shot clock as Alex Hill calls the play. The Golden Suns go flat along the baseline. Hill gets the ball screen now for Wagner. Shoots for three, it is no good. Defensive rebound by Carly Feldman of Maryville University. Saints into the front court. Stuber dribbles left, pulls up, throws it out to Fearday. Carson Fearday into the painted area. Bounce pass ahead for Feldman. Layup try blocked out of bounds by Sarah Grace Craven. Great defensive recovery there by Craven. Good time. Patience McDaniel, Haley Wyrick, and Shelley Butler in. Clara Grace Prater, Alex Hill, and Sarah Edmondson out for the Golden Suns. For Maryville, in for the first time is Jenna Cotter, a six foot three senior center for Lockport, Illinois. Cotter averaging 1.3 points and 1.2 rebounds per game. She replaced Carly Feldman in the lineup. Carson Beardy dribbles the free throw line, throws it out on the right wing, pass received by Hayden Pitch. Pitch drives. A whistle and a foul on the floor against Arkansas Tech. We've got Haley Wyrick with a foul. Her first. Team foul number one this quarter. With 5.58 to go in the second quarter, and Arkansas Tech leading 32 to 12. Maryville will throw it in from the baseline. Cotter gives it back to Stugert in the right corner. Stugert for three. It is an air ball. Defensive rebound. Patience McDaniel of Arkansas Tech. McDaniel into the front court. She had 17 points against Washita on Saturday, including 14 in the second half. Wagner throws it out right wing for Haley Wyrick. Wyrick drives the baseline, draws a lot of traffic, gets it back out to the perimeter for McDaniel. Pacious drives, runner from the left side is no good. Defensive rebound by Maddie Meehan of Maryville University. Pitch in transition for three, no good from the left wing. Weak side rebound, Stuber, she lines it up and knocks it down. A nine footer from right of the lane on the offensive rebound for Gracie Stuber. Arkansas Tech lead is 32 to 14. Maryville has scored the last five points. Golden Suns have not scored in two and a half minutes. Haley Wyrick with the basketball to the right wing for Arkansas Tech. A late Carlton High School graduate. Dribbles left to the top of the key. Passes right side to McDaniel. Patience to the free throw line. Leaves it out the right wing for Julie Wagner. Hand off for Jordan Rollins. Three pointer is short to the right wing. Scramble for the rebound. It goes to Shelly Butler and she lays it in. Shelly Butler is the right place at the right time. Lay it in. Arkansas Tech leads 34 to 14. Golden Suns are now 12 of 19 from the field. Three pointers from the top of the key. Good for Hayden Pitch. Pitch in the 33% shooter from beyond.
beyond the arc, 29% this year. That is her team leading 20th three-pointer of the season. And the Arkansas Tech lead is 34 to 17. Her first points of the day. 12 foot jumper, Patience McDaniel, no good. Defensive rebound by Gracie Stewart. Into the front court come the Saints. Left side for Pierdell. Looks ahead for Cotter, but before the pass, whistle traveling violation and timeout on the floor. Four minutes and 17 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 34, Maryville 17. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one minute break. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272-4069. Felmer's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic score for quality athletic footwear and apparel features Nike, Under Armour, the North Race, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kabu, Keen, and many, many more. Felmer's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces of Felmer's and help you with all your athletic needs. Felmer's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. Four minutes and 17 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 34, Maryville 17. Golden Suns are 12 of 20 from the field, 60%, including three out of nine here in this second quarter. Arkansas Tech four of six from three-point range so far this afternoon. Maryville just five of 26 from the field, 19% as a traveling violation called on Alex Hill. As I said, she drug her pivot foot as she went to make that pass from the top of the key. It'll go into the books as turnover number eight for Arkansas Tech. The two sides once again even in that regard. Haley Wyrick, Alex Hill, Patience McDaniel, Shelley Butler, and Sarah Edmondson for Arkansas Tech. Hayden Pitch with the basketball for Maryville. Shoots a long two from the right wing, and it is good. Hayden Pitch has five points. She's two out of seven from the field. We go under four minutes to play in the second quarter, and the Arkansas Tech lead is down to 15 at 34 to 19. Maryville has outscored the Golden Suns by a margin of 10 to two over the last three minutes. Left side, Patience McDaniel dribbles right to the top of the key, gives to Wyrick. She'll try a long two. It is short, offensive rebound, Butler, and Shelly puts it home for the second time in this second quarter. Shelly Butler with second chance points, and it's 36 to 19, Arkansas Tech. Shelly Butler has five points on the afternoon and two rebounds. Left side, Hayden Pitch cut off on the drive by Haley Wyrick, leaves it out front with Stugert. Stugert surveys the defense, gives right wing to Meehan. Meehan goes right to the baseline, pivots, looks cross court, finds Mulvaney. Riley Mulvaney's three pointer is good from the left wing. The Saints are starting to heat up. That is their fifth three pointer of the afternoon, and it is 36 to 22, a 14 point lead for Arkansas Tech. I have to expand the defense just a little bit. Saints, not typically a great three-point shooting team. They average 5.4 made three-pointers per game. They shoot 27% from beyond the arc, both of which rank ninth among the 14 members of the Great Lakes Valley Conference. Got a foul on the Saints as Sarah Edmondson made a pass back out to the left wing. Foul is on Maddie Meehan, her first. Team foul number two. And Arkansas Tech will throw it in from the baseline. Riley Mulvaney checks out for the Saints. Annika Plumer is back in. Alex Hill to make the inbound pass for Arkansas Tech. Gets it right wing to Haley Wyrick. Feed into the low post for Shelly Butler. She'll work on Cotter. Takes her to the basket. Thought about a reverse layup. Instead feeds Edmondson. Edmondson's first try no good. Gets her own rebound. Out to Hill for three. It is no good. Rebound. A whistle and a foul as Patience McDaniel was trying to get around a box out by Hayden Pitch. And I think they're going to call Pitch for a foul. Yeah, I think she kind of wrapped around. Put her arm around the Golden Sun. And so the basketball will belong to Arkansas Tech on the foul against Hayden Pitch. It is her first personal foul. It's the only thing I can come up with. From here, it looked like a good box out, but I didn't have as good a look at it as the official does. Loose ball to top of the key. Golden Suns turn it over as the steal made by Maddie Meehan of Maryville University. Now in transition, it is Plemer with it. 
They kick it out right side for Stugert. Stugert looks into the post. Jenna Cotter wants the basketball. They lob it for her. She makes a catch with the left hand, saves it in bounds to Plemer. Now Plemer tries to save it in, but it's stolen by Alex Hill of Arkansas Tech. Turnover number nine for Maryville. Edmondson to Butler, left elbow, 15-foot jumper. Good for Shelly Butler. She's got seven first-half points, 2.03 to go until the intermission, and the Golden Suns lead it by a score of 38 to 22. Haley. Haley Wyrick picks up her second personal foul. Team foul number two. As the Saints make some changes, let's reset their lineup. Maddie Meehan is in the game along with Carson Fearday, Jenna Cotter, Antoinette Musarisi back in. And Hayden Pitch is the fifth member of the lineup right now for Maryville. Feed for Meehan cutting down the baseline, layup up and good. It was Fear Day on the assist, and Meehan on the finish. A minute 41 to go second quarter, and it's 38-24 Arkansas Tech. Meehan off the bench with five points in this second quarter for Maryville. Left corner, Alex Hill makes the catch, fakes the three, dribbles right up to the wing, 13 on the shot clock, throws it cross court for Patius McDaniel. McDaniel goes to the free throw line, draws the defense, and then finds Sarah Edmondson cutting to the basket for the layup. Edmondson with the finish, a brilliant feed by Patience McDaniel, and it's 40 to 24, Arkansas Tech. Good, good then, a good cut. Four first half points for Edmondson. Drive, layup for Fear Day, good, and a foul against Arkansas Tech. Count the basket, and the foul on Patience McDaniel of Arkansas Tech is her first. Team foul number three, and it'll be one free throw try for Carson Fear Day who now has 10 first half points. Coming off that 24 point performance against Quincy on Saturday that matched her career high. It was her fourth consecutive game in double figures and Fear Day averaging 17.8 points per game over her last four coming into today. She makes the free throw completing the three point play and cutting the Arkansas Tech lead down to 40 to 27. The Golden Suns led by as many as 23. Now it's down to 13. Alex Hill dribbles on the right wing, defended by Fear Day. Passes right wing for Jackie Rollins. Rollins gets the ball screen from Edmondson, goes left, pitch with the defense, kick out for Hill. Alex for three, no good. Rebounded by Hayden Pitch of Maryville. 32 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 40, Maryville 27 from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. A day-night doubleheader here at the Coliseum today. Tonight at 7 p.m., the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys will take on Central Baptist. Get your tickets right now at arkansastechsports.com slash tickets. Antoinette Musarisi with the basketball for Maryville. Defended out front by Patience McDaniel. Goes left, gives to Jenna Cotter at the high post. Cotter hands it off to Fear Day. Fear Day dribbles left. McDaniel ties it up as the shot clock was expiring. And now you got a decision to make. Was it a shot clock violation or was it the, an, a held ball? And this will determine who will get the basketball to begin the second half. They're going to go shot clock. clock violation. And so the Golden Suns will maintain the possession arrow. And it'll be 1.1 seconds left for Arkansas Tech. And they'll try to get it out closer to midcourt on the inbounds pass so somebody has a chance at a realistic heave at the buzzer. Edmondson throws it into the front court. It's tipped. Butler gets the basketball. And one pass too many. Shelly just needed to shoot that one. She tried to get it ahead to Patience McDaniel, but time expired. And our score after 20 minutes at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville is Arkansas Tech 40 and Maryville 27 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for two minutes. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. As a dentist, giving patients a beautiful smile is what I love to do. But the business side can be challenging. Luckily, First State Bank understands. They provide financial tools that make banking convenient and flexible. And the service I get is second to none. From equipment loans to cash management solutions, they give me the freedom to focus on my patients, not my payroll. Now that's something to smile about. Come see us at First State Bank in Russellville or Fayetteville for local personalized banking. 
Hi, this is Mike Giro with Giro & Associates and Medicare Specialist of Arkansas. I'm here to remind you that the Medicare annual enrollment period is open now through December 7th, and the open enrollment period for the Affordable Care Act health plans is available now through January 15th. Call us to schedule an appointment with a local agent to make sure you have the coverage that best meets your needs for 2024. Also, if you've received notice that your plan is not going to be available next year, don't delay. Call today, 479-857-2810, or check us out at GiroAssociates.com. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. It's the most wonderful time of the year, and someone's going to get a brand new roof for Christmas. Miller Roofing Company is giving away an entire roof to a local River Valley family in need. If you or someone you know needs a new roof for their home, but you're not in a position to buy one, just send your nomination in for this year's Shingle Bells giveaway. Please submit why you feel they deserve a new roof and include photos with your nomination. Deadline for submissions is December 15th. Please check out the website for entry details and rules at www.millerific.net. Halftime at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville with the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns leading the Maryville Saints by a score of 40 to 27. Maryville made its last six field goal tries of the half to close what was once a 23 point Arkansas Tech lead down to 13. Let's take a look at the numbers. Maryville is nine of 30 from the field, 30%, including seven out of 13, 54% in that second quarter after a dreadful opening period for the Saints. They picked it up for sure in the second quarter. Maryville, five of seven five of 16 I should say 31 percent from three-point range and the Saints four out of five at the free throw line 80 percent Arkansas Tech 15 of 27 from the field 56 percent including four out of eight from three-point range and the Golden Suns have made six of eight at the free throw line Arkansas Tech out rebounding Maryville 21 to 13 the Golden Suns so far have seven assists and nine turnovers Maryville thus far with three assists and 10 turnovers. Arkansas Tech taking a look at some of the specialty numbers. Arkansas Tech with an 18 to six edge in fast break points and the Golden Suns outscoring the Saints 14 to six in points in the paint. Individual leaders first for Maryville leading the way with 11 points. Carson Fearday, she is three of eight from the field, two of four from three points and three out of three at the free throw line. Five points apiece at halftime for Hayden Pitch and Maddie Meehan. Riley Mulvaney has three points for the Saints. Gracie Stugart with two points for Maryville and one point at halftime from Cameron Winch. Arkansas Tech led in scoring in the first half by Alex Hill with nine points. Alex hit a couple of three-pointers. She is three out of four from the free throw line. Eight points in the first half for Haley Weirich. Shelly Butler had seven points for the Golden Suns in the first two quarters. Julie Wagner and Patience McDaniel with six points apiece. Sarah Edmondson with four points for Arkansas Tech. Jackie Rollins, Jordan Rollins, Dana Thompson, along with Clara Grace Prater and Elena Leho have also appeared in the game for Arkansas Tech. Dana Thompson has not scored, but she leads the Golden Suns in rebounds with four, despite the fact she only played six minutes due to foul trouble. Arkansas Tech 40 and Maryville 27 at halftime from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We will step aside for three minutes and then come back with more halftime. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Whether you're taking the kids to school or headed to the hill for the big game, Kilbright Autoplex is stocked with the most popular vehicles on the road from Chevrolet, GMC, and Toyota. We're stocked on all styles of vehicles. Ross our selection of new and used inventory. Or chat with us online at Philbright.com. We're right there with you before and after the sale. Find the right deal on the right vehicle at Philbright Autoplex in Russellville. Making the right choices with a short drive on I-40 to exit 84. 
temperatures are definitely falling off, y'all. And with cooler weather, Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue's three bean brisket chili is next level. Made from scratch, seasoned with a blend of dried chilies. 803 West Main Place in Russellville, right behind Newton's Pharmacy. Don't forget, you can use my code Barbecue Game 20 to get 20% off your online order that you can place right there on their Facebook page. Ridgewood Brothers. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family owned business and they take care of their customers like family too. So remember your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting. Tinting in Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you could always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting in Glass. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut. And sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. Hey, sis. Couldn't wait till Christmas to talk to me, could you? Well, that's why I'm calling. What's the matter? I know Mom's going to be upset, but I just don't see how I can make it home for Christmas. What do you mean? I've got to buy new tires. Don't you have an R&R just down the road from you? Yeah, why? Well, I just heard the commercial, and you can get a new set of tires today, and all you need to get started is $5. Really? Yes. Plus, you get six months, same as cash. I'm going to call him right now. For a quick quote, text the word tires to 43414. Johnny Story in for a late this Realty Russellville with an important question for you. How do you get top dollar when you're ready to sell your home? Well, I'd suggest trusting the professionals. You know, at a late this Realty, they really are a seller's best friend because they have years of experience, knowledge, and they have a network of relationships that ensure that you get the most for your home. Alathus Realty Russell Bill 9685668 Back with you from the Alathus Realty broadcast position at halftime with the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns leading Maryville 40 to 27 in non-conference play this afternoon but since the last time we visited with you there were a couple of great American conference games and there's a whole bunch more coming up on Saturday and here with a look at all of it is Mr. Kelly Davis. Thank you, Sam. As we mentioned on Saturday, the Harding teams were not going to play until Sunday due to the NCAA Division II football playoff game that was going on in Searcy. And those went final uh, on Sunday evening as both Harding teams came out victorious. Harding women 78-51 over Southern Arkansas and the Harding men 57 to 51 over Southern Arkansas. And on Monday, we had a single game, and that was the Southwest Oklahoma State women. They defeated the Science of Arts 67 to 61. And then on Monday, it was UA Monticello uh, taking care of Langston 67 to 64. And today's games, as we mentioned this evening, Arkansas Tech hosting Central Baptist and Washita Baptist hosting Dallas Christian. And then we get back on the regular basis on Saturday as we have a full slate and all these games will begin, looks like at one o'clock uh, for the most part and then one 530 start. On the women's side and the men's side, you have Arkansas Tech is headed to Arkadelphia to take on Henderson State. UA Monticello will be hosting Harding University. Southern Arkansas will host Washita Baptist. And in Oklahoma, you have Southern Nazarene hosting Northwest Oklahoma. Southeast Oklahoma State will entertain Oklahoma Baptist. And East Central will travel to Southwest Oklahoma. And that is the game that will begin at 530. So that means the 730 game will be East Central and Southwest men. All the others will be approximately a 3 p.m. start on the other game. So, big slate for Saturday, getting a few games in, non-conference games during the week. 
getting some games in so they, they can uh, continue to stay stay in that rhythm. And so let's hope the, the Golden Suns here you know, come out and have a great second half. You know, they kind of fell asleep a little bit Saturday against Washita. And, uh, you know, Washita, they were scrappy. They are, I, that's what you can describe them as. They are a scrappy little, little bunch. And they will get after you on the defensive end. And they will push the ball up and get some easy layups if you're not careful. And that was the result that uh, happened with the Golden Suns. They just don't have to. You know, just kind of regroup. And like you said, turnovers. A little bit better today. Uh, a couple of the turnovers today have been on, uh, you know, illegal screens. So taking care of the ball a little bit better today. A reminder that the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys play at home tonight, a 7 p.m. non-conference game against Central Baptist College. The Wonder Boys looking for their fifth consecutive win and trying to stay undefeated all time against Central Baptist. But it will not be easy. The Mustangs are 8-2 and two overall. And included among their roster is a young man by the name of Deshaun Corfrew. If that name sounds familiar to basketball fans, he was a pretty prominent member of Texas Tech's NCAA Division I national runner-up team in 2019. And now he's playing his senior season at Central Baptist. They've got a bunch of Division I transfers. And it'll be a challenge tonight for the Wonder Boys. They could sure use your support 7 p.m. tonight here at Tucker Coliseum. You can get your ticket right now at ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets. The Golden Suns lead 40 to 27 at halftime from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We will pause for three minutes and then come back with the third quarter. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Mr. Break and Lube wants you to know when it comes to your engine, not all motor oils are created equal. That's why they only offer name brand motor oils that you can trust like Pennzoil, Castro, Mobile One, and more. So don't pay top dollar for cheap generics. Mr. Brake and Lube can work your vehicle pretty much bumper to bumper plus complete auto glass service. So call 219-5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Brake and Lube, your one-stop maintenance shop. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage, do not go online for quotes. You'll get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pick your doctors. No deductibles, no co-pays, and it's 30 to 60% lower cost than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479-886-2475 or go to health plan lady com quarterback guard running back every position has a role in building success if you want a position where you can build success in your own career lexicon is hiring welders millwrights and many more positions we offer free on the job training through our own lexicon university so you can learn while you earn and build the career you want competitive pay a great health care plan paid vacation a sweet 401k plan and more Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy. Changing our world one student at a time. Experienced installers need them. That's right. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is needing experienced installers. Candidates must have a minimum of two years' experience with HVAC installation, must have a valid driver's license, and be able to pass a drug test. Serious inquiries only. Contact Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 or drop off a resume at their office. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is an equal opportunity for This Realty broadcast position at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, Arkansas Tech 40, 
and Maryville 27 as we begin the third quarter. And Kelly, I'm not sure another 18 to nothing run is realistic, but like we saw at the beginning of the first quarter, but you sure would love to see the Golden Suns just come out and play with the intensity that they had in the first five minutes of the first quarter here in the first five minutes of the third quarter. Well, you know, sometimes in most teams, you see it in all levels, you see teams get a big lead and then just kind of, you know, kind of take a step back, relax just a little bit, and then, uh, you know, everything starts falling into place. And the other team is caught up with you by then. The basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech to begin the third quarter. Alex Hill dribbles on the right wing, passes out to the top of the key for Pacious McDaniel. McDaniel drives, left-handed layup, up and good for Pacious. She has eight points on the afternoon, 9.46 to go in the third quarter. And Arkansas Tech leads 42-27. Left wing, Carson Fearday with the basketball for Maryville. Dribbles into the corner, throws it back out of the wing for Hayden Pitch. Pitch dribbles right. She's defended by Haley Wyrick. Drives. Alex Hill ties the basketball up. Possession arrow is with Maryville, and the Saints will throw it in with 12 on the timer. Nine minutes and 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 42, Maryville 27 from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Now they need a break as the shot clock accidentally went to 20, and they needed it 12, and now they've got that. The inbound pass will be made again for Maryville. This time it'll be Hayden Pitch to throw it in for the Saints. With nine minutes and 30 seconds left in the third and Arkansas Tech up by 15. It's deflected out of bounds on the far sideline. And Maryville will keep it still with 12 on the shot clock. Hayden Pitch this time from the far sideline after that deflection. Pitch with five points so far today. Gets it into Carson Fearday. Fearday has 11 points to lead the way for the Saints. Fear Day gets it back from pitch. Fear Day wants to drive, defended by Dana Thompson. Shot is blocked by Julie Wagner. Fear Day gets it back, and then an off-balance fadeaway 20-footer from the right wing with one on the shot clock and the Golden Suns fouler. The only thing the Golden Suns couldn't do there was commit a foul. They were going to get a stop otherwise. But the foul is called on Haley Wyrick, and that is her third. Team foul number one this quarter. Some disagreement between PA announcer and scoreboard as to who that foul was called on. Looks like it may have been on Julie Wagner instead of Haley Wyrick. Yeah, I was thinking Julie was in the vicinity. So instead of the third on Wyrick, it is the first on Julie Wagner. Both free throws are good. And for Fear Day, and with 9.14 to go in the third, the Arkansas Tech lead is 42-29. Alex Hill drives, misses the layup, rebounded for Maryville by Carly Feldman. Into the front court comes Antoinette Musarisi. Musarisi stops at the top of the key, gets a screen, dribbles right wing, passes to Stugert. Stugert thought about a three, now left-handed dribble to the top of the key, lobs it down low for Feldman, pass deflected by Alex Hill, stolen by Haley Wyrick. Turnover number 11 for Maryville. 8.43 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech by 13. Alex Hill's three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound, Maryville by Gracie Stugert. Stugert brings it back to the offensive end, hands it off to Pitch, three-pointer, no good off the backboard, rebounded by Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. Golden Suns the other way, fourth rebound of the day for Wagner. McDaniel to the goal, she scores and draws a foul. A three-point play opportunity for Patience McDaniel. The foul on Maryville is on Gracie Stugert. It is Stugert's first personal foul and Patience McDaniel to the free throw line in search of her 11th point of the afternoon. Patience has now reached double figures in scoring in each of her six games as a Golden Sun, as that was points number nine and 10 on that layup. And there's point number 11 as she makes the free throw, completing the three-point play. 8.23 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech 45, Maryville 29. Stugert hands it off top of the key for Musarisi. Now Feldman takes the ball. She goes right, gives to pitch on the wing. Pass for Stugert. Stugert gets a pick from Feldman. Stugert still with her dribble with 12 to shoot. Hands it off to Fearday. Fearday dribbles right. Free throw line jumper good for Carson Fearday. She has 15 points, 7.59 to go in the third, and it's 45-31 Arkansas Tech. She has definitely kept them in the game. Alex Hill brings the Arkansas Tech offense into form. She dribbles on the right wing, defended by Musarisi. Goes left, passes on the wing for Pacious McDaniel. Post entry feed for Julie Wagner. Turn around off the glass and good for Julie Wagner. Eight points for Wagner, who is three out of four from the field. 7.33 to go in the third. And Arkansas Tech leads 47-31. 
Left wing handoff for Hayden Pitch. Pitch goes right, got a pick from Feldman, gives to Feldman on the pick and roll, but Wagner deflects the pass, and it is stolen by Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Alex Hill to the top of the key, gives left wing for Haley Wyrick. Bounce pass to the baseline for Wagner. Hill cuts through, but she's well defended by Musarisi. Pass out to the wing for Haley Wyrick. Shot clock at 15. Now Alex Hill gets the ball on the right wing. Post entry bounce pass for Dana Thompson. Turnaround jumper blocked by Carly Feldman. Rebounded by Feldman. And Gracie Stugert will take it the other way for the Saints. 6.52 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech leading 47 to 31 at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Hayden Pitch. Passes on the right wing for Stugert. Bounce pass is stolen away by Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. She gets it ahead to Dana Thompson. Thompson goes to the right wing, hands it off Haley Wyrick. Wyrick for three, it is off to the left. Defensive rebound, Hayden Pitch of Maryville University. 6.28 left in the third. Pitch coast to coast, left-handed layup try, whistle foul on Arkansas Tech. The foul, and they need the Maryville players to just kind of sit down so the official can relay the foul call. That was on Haley. It is the third personal on Haley Wyrick this time. Team foul number two, and as Hayden Pitch steps to the free throw line for Maryville from the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside 10 seconds for station ID. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Casey, JC, Darknell, Russellville. You guys play the best country of all. River country. Casey, JC. Hayden Pitch misses the first free throw for Maryville, her first trip to the line today. She is now six out of seven at the free throw line this season. She gets the second one, nothing but net. Pitch a career 76% free throw shooter. Her one out of two trip cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 47 to 32. Alex Hill dribbles left, defended by Pitch. Gets inside the three point arc, gets inside the lane. Throws it out to Clara Grace Prater. Prater and Sarah Edmondson checked in for Arkansas Tech at that last dead ball. Prater gets it back on the left wing, drives into the lane. Picks it up, gives to Dana Thompson, and Dana walks with the basketball. Arkansas Tech commits its 10th turnover of the game, but it's first of the second half. 6.04 remaining third quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 47 to 32. The Golden Suns three out of seven from the field since halftime. Maryville one out of three from the field in the third quarter. Pitch takes a handoff from Stugert, steps back for three, it's short. Defensive rebound by Clara Grace Prater of Arkansas Tech. Behind the back dribble to get away from Fear Day. Prater into the front court, gives to McDaniel. McDaniel drives, Euro step, left-handed layup good for Pacious McDaniel. 13 points for McDaniel, 5.38 to go in the third, and Arkansas Tech leads 49-32. Fear Day 12-foot jumper, it is no good. Rebound by Jenna Cotter, and her putback is up and good for the Saints. Jenna Cotter with the putback, her first two points of the game. 5.23 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech leads 49-34. Feed down low for Dana Thompson. Fakes right, goes left, 10-foot jumper good for Dana Thompson, as she was able to free herself from Jenna Cotter with that ball fake, and then knock down the open jumper. 51-34 Golden Suns. Dana Thompson with two points and four rebounds on the afternoon. Hayden Pitch thought about a three. Now she'll try a long two. It is off target. Rebound. Sarah Edmondson able to tip it to herself. And the Golden Suns push it the other way. Patience McDaniel with Prater on her left. Goes to the rim. Will they count the basket? Yes, they will. And a foul on Hayden Pitch. Hayden Pitch picks up her second personal foul and another three-point play opportunity for Patience McDaniel when we come back to Tucker Coliseum. Four minutes and 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 53, Maryville 34 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty, real estate done 
find a better way. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is. And uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animals' needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op. We're located on the east Main of Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Four minutes and 49 seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 53, Maryville 34, Shelly Butler, Patius McDaniel, Sarah Edmondson, Jackie Rollins, and Clara Grace Prater report to the floor for Arkansas Tech, and it'll be Patius McDaniel to the line to shoot one. 15 points on the afternoon for McDaniel. And as has become a trend for Patius, she is really turning it on in the second half. She has nine of those 15 points since halftime. Now make it 10 of her 16 since halftime. 10 points in the first five minutes and 11 seconds of the third quarter for Patius McDaniel and a 54 to 34 lead for Arkansas Tech. The Golden Suns have scored the last five points and they're on a seven to two run. Three point try, no good for Riley Mulvaney. And then a pile up on the rebound. And let's see what we've got. Shelly Butler went down hard. The foul is against Maryville. Faith, I believe, Hawthorne. Faith Hawthorne, it would be her third personal foul if that's the case, and it is. Hawthorne, it's the third team foul, and Jackie Rollins will bring it up for Arkansas Tech under the watchful eye of Carson Fearday. Golden Suns by 20, midway through the third quarter. Wonder Boys play at 7 p.m. against Central Baptist. Patience McDaniel throws it out to the top of the key for Jackie Rollins. Rollins goes left, gets into the lane, drives it among three players. Probably not the best shot, but she's going to get bailed out by a foul committed by the Saints. It'll be two free throws for Jackie Rollins. <laughs> foul is on Maddie Meehan. It is her second personal foul. Team foul number four, and Jackie Rollins goes to the free throw line for the first time today. Jackie on the season, 0 for 2 at the line. She is a career 46% free throw shooter, makes the first one. I did like the aggressiveness, taking it to the hole there. Uh, yes, and it, it paid off for her. Two points for Jackie against Washita on Saturday. She played a season high in 19 minutes in that ball game. She makes both free throws. Four minutes and 13 seconds to go in the third. Arkansas Tech 56, Maryville 34. Now it's making it a seven to nothing run for Arkansas Tech. Golden Suns have made five of their last seven field goal tries, including three in a row. Now a whistle away from the basketball. Clara Grace. They've got Clara Grace Prater for a hold. The foul on Prater is her first. It is team foul number three. Maryville will throw it in from the baseline. Inbound pass to be made by Gracie Stuger. Gets it in to Hawthorne. Faith Hawthorne, bounce pass out to Mulvaney. Left-handed dribble drive, a dish for Fear Day on the left wing. Fear Day dribbles right to the top of the key, guarded by Prater. Pass on the right side for Stugert. They swing it back out front for Fear Day. Her three-point try is no good. Defensive rebound by, or I should say offensive rebound by Riley Mulvaney. She gives to Fear Day on the baseline. Back out to the right wing for Stugert. Stugert thought about a three. McDaniel defending her. Shot clock at 10. They bounce it down low for Hawthorne. Hawthorne's layup up and good. Faith Hawthorne gets her first two points of the game. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech leads. 56-36 and a foul committed by the Saints. This will be team foul number five and so it'll be free throws for Jackie Rollins. Foul committed by Riley or I should say by Annika Plemer. Annika Plemer with her first personal foul and it is team foul number five and so it'll be two free throws for Jackie Rollins who just went two out of two at the line a moment ago. Rollins a sophomore guard from Mustang Oklahoma appearing in her 32nd game as a Golden Sun here this afternoon. Makes the first one for her third point of the afternoon. Arkansas Tech now 11 of 13 from the free throw line this afternoon. Second try is off to the left. Rebound, out of bounds, last touch by Arkansas Tech. Three minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech leads 57 to 36, just shy of the biggest lead Arkansas Tech has held all day. The Golden Suns led by 23 early in the second quarter. Top of the key ball possessed by Riley Mulvaney. They feed it into the post for Hawthorne, and as they do, a whistle and a foul committed by Arkansas Tech. Jackie Rollins with the push. It is Rollins' second personal foul. Not, not sure who she pushed. But. It is team foul number four, also 
a bit curious to be called for a pushing foul whilst seated on the floor. Yeah, while you're laying on the ground. Inbound for Hawthorne, turn around off the glass, no good. Rebound by Pacious McDaniel of Arkansas Tech. There she goes. Pacious pushes it, loses the dribble. Stolen away for Maryville by Riley Mulvaney, and now the Saints will go back to work offensively with under three minutes to play in the third quarter. Pass to the top of the key for Hawthorne. She distributes right wing for Stugart. Stugart dribbles left, finds Fear Day. Fear Day gets a step on her defender. Then the help defender, Jackie Rollins, takes the foul to prevent the layup. Her third already. Team foul number five. So it'll be two free throws for Carson Fear Day, who is five out of five from the free throw line today. Fear Day appearing in her 81st game for Maryville, makes the first free throw. Came into the day with 748 career points, 337 career rebounds, and 156 career assists. She was an all Great Lakes Valley Conference third team selection a year ago. She makes both free throws, 245 to go in the third. And then on the inbound pass, a whistle and a foul committed by Maryville. No, a correction, offensive foul on the Golden Suns. They call Jackie Rollins for the push off on the inbounds play. That's four on Rollins. It's a turnover for Arkansas Tech. And Alex Hill will replace Rollins in the lineup. And the Golden Suns lead at 57 to 38. Inbound pass comes to the right wing for Riley Mulvaney. Hand off there for Fear Day, now to Stugart. Gracie Stugart, defended by Clara Grace Prater, goes left, Hawthorne sets the screen, handoff goes to Fleemer, Fleemer to Mulvaney, her runner down the left side of the lane from 10 feet, no good, defensive rebound, Alex Hill. Outlet pass for Pacious McDaniel. McDaniel sees a seam, drives, runs over Hawthorne, and an offensive foul called on Pacious McDaniel. Nice anticipation there by Hawthorne to get herself set and draw the offensive foul on Pacious McDaniel. It is McDaniel's second personal foul. Just a little out of control. Dana Thompson returns for Arkansas Tech, as does Julie Wagner. Sarah Edmondson and Shelly Butler are out of the game, so it's Pacious McDaniel, Clara Grace Prater, Dana Thompson, Julie Wagner, and Alex Hill for Arkansas Tech. Gracie Stugart, along with Annika Plemer, Faith Hawthorne, Hayden Pitch, and also Antoinette Musarici for Maryville, missed shot, rebound Arkansas Tech. Clara Grace Prater into the front court, throws it out front for Alex Hill. Now a whistle and a foul against Maryville. They've got Gracie Stugart for, Stugart for a hack across the wrist, and that'll give Pacious McDaniel two free throws. Foul on Stugart is her second personal foul. Pacious McDaniel to the line, where she is two out of two this afternoon. First try for the freshman from Springdale finds nothing but the bottom of the net. McDaniel entered the day fifth in the Great American Conference in scoring, tied for ninth in rebounding. She's been among the top two freshman scorers in all of NCAA Division II women's basketball throughout the first portion of her initial year at Arkansas Tech. She's doing nothing today to damage that position. She makes both free throws, 59-38 Golden Suns. Hawthorne for three, no good. Defensive rebound, Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. Suns the other way. Alex Hill wants to drive on Musarici. Now backs it back out to the top of the key. Pass to the right wing for Clara Grace Prater. Now Hill again, shot clock at 16. Musarisi with the defense. Drive Hill, right-handed layup, no good. Offensive rebound, Dana Thompson in amongst three Saints. She goes up and draws the foul. It'll be two free throws for Dana Thompson. The foul on Maryville is for a hack against Gracie Stugart. Stugart gets her third. Jenna Cotter returns for the Saints in place of Faith Hawthorne. And Dana Thompson to the free throw line for the first time today for Arkansas Tech. Dana is seven out of 10, 70% from the free throw line this season. For her career, a 48% free throw shooter. Dana appearing in her 30th game at Arkansas Tech today, made her 23rd start for the Golden Suns, came in with 219 career points, 221 career rebounds. She had 10 points and nine rebounds in the loss to Washita on Saturday. She had eight points and 11 rebounds in the win at UA Monticello on Thursday. Her first free throw is in and out, no good. Golden Suns now 13 of 17 from the free throw line this afternoon. Second try forthcoming for Dana Thompson. It is up, it is short, barely grazed the iron. And the defensive rebound is collected by Jenna Cotter of Maryville. Saints into the front court. Stugart out front for Cotter, one dribble, then a pass to the left wing for Musarisi. Musarisi goes right, 
Spins into the lane. Alex Hill stays with her every step of the way. Pass out for Stugart. Thought twice about a three-pointer, and then goes left. Leaves it on the wing with Plemer. Annika Plemer drives, layup up and good for Annika Plemer. Her first two points of the day come with one minute and five seconds left in the third quarter. The Arkansas Tech lead is 59-40. Drive by McDaniel, layup up and good. 20 points for Pacious McDaniel, six away from matching her season and career high. And Arkansas Tech leads 61 to 40. Top of the key, Cotter. Passes right wing for Musarisi. Antoinette Musarisi, left-handed dribble into the lane and a foul against Arkansas Tech. It'll be on Alex Hill. Alex gets her first personal foul and two free throws for Antoinette Musarisi. Musarisi, a career 80% free throw shooter, and she has made a living at the charity stripe over the course of her 86 games at the collegiate level. She came in with 507 career free throw attempts. She made 404 of those. She makes this one on her first free throw try of today's game. Musarisi with 1,321 career points. She makes both of those. Her first two of the game. 43.7 seconds left in the third, and Arkansas Tech leads 61-42. Top of the key, Dana Thompson passes left side for Patience McDaniel. Spin move, shoots over two defenders, and got fouled. Two shots upcoming for Patience McDaniel, who has really asserted herself here in the third quarter and helped the Golden Suns maintain a comfortable lead with her aggressiveness offensively. Edmondson in, Dana Thompson out for the Suns. And now Pacious McDaniel, four out of four at the free throw line, steps to the stripe to shoot two. Jenna Carter getting that foul. Foul on Number Carter 11. is her first. And Pacious McDaniel to the line, she makes the first one. That is her 21st point of the day. Second one is also good. 32.4 seconds left in the quarter. And Arkansas Tech leading 63-42. It'll be Antoinette Musarisi to bring it up for Maryville. And it looks like the Saints are content to hold for the final shot of the quarter. At least that's their body language right now. Musarisi dribbles on the Tech logo at midcourt. Wonder Boys play at 7 p.m. tonight against Central Baptist. Come join us in person. We'll have the broadcast here on the EAB Sports Network. Seven on the shot clock. Carson Fearday spins into the lane, shoots over Edmondson, no good. Rebound, loose on the baseline, saved in. It's the Golden Suns with it ahead to Alex Hill, and time expires on the third quarter. At the end of three periods at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, the score is Arkansas Tech 63, Maryville 42. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Ball is here and winter is on the way. Burris into Market Russellville wants you to think about upgrading to more efficient doors and windows to help offset those heating costs. And it's not of that time to think about upgrading your home office furniture for when you get stuck working from home. Burris into Market, 113 South Arkansas, Russellville, or phone at 968-4888. Burris into Market, proud supporters of Russellville High School and Arkansas Tech University. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. Patience McDaniel with 22 points on the afternoon to lead the way for the Golden Suns. And Kelly, she's been a big part of giving Arkansas Tech a huge edge in fast break points as well. I tell you what, you know, fast break points right now sitting at 25 for the Golden Suns and nine for Maryville. So, you know, if you look at some of these other stats, everything's pretty even. Uh, points in the paint, we have a little bit of an edge there, 22 to 14. But I think what is uh, going to impress Coach Wilbur's uh, when he starts looking at these stats is that they are much, much improved on some things like free throw shooting and things of that nature that they had been struggling with the last couple of games. Patience McDaniel is stepping to the free throw line. I'm not sure why though. We may have had an administrative technical foul against Maryville, although Okay, coach is saying that's on me, so it is some kind of administrative technical foul on 
the Maryville bench. The first free throw is up and good for Patius McDaniel, her 23rd point of the afternoon. She'll shoot one more. As the Golden Suns begin the fourth quarter with a pair of Patius McDaniel free throws. That or she just said something to the officials at the break. I'm not sure. So it is 65-42 after the two free shots by McDaniel. And Sarah Edmondson will make the inbound pass for Arkansas Tech. Edmondson, Alex Hill, Julie Wagner, Patius McDaniel, and Clara Grace Prater are the five for the Golden Suns. Alex Hill feeds it into the post for Julie Wagner. Wagner double team looking for help. Finds Sarah Edmondson underneath the goal, and Edmondson walked with the basketball. 14th turnover for Arkansas Tech. Nine minutes and 48 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, and the Golden Suns lead 65 to 42. Gracie Stugert brings it up for the Saints. She's got two points and four rebounds this afternoon. Hands it off the left wing for Carson Beardy. Beardy dribbles right, gives it out front to Musarisi. Musarisi drives, layup up, no good. Rebound, Cotter, put back try, no good. Defensive rebound, Sarah Edmondson. Looked like Clara Grace Prater was the golden son who forced that miss. Now in transition, Wagner throws it back out to McDaniel. Patius gives to Wagner, right wing, 16-foot jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound, Maryville. Carson Beardy gets her third rebound of the day for the Saints. In transition, passes right wing to a wide open Stugert, three-pointer good for Gracie Stugert. Breakdown in transition defense for the Golden Suns. Leads to an open three for Stugert, and Stugert made him pay. Wide open for a long time. Five points for Gracie Stugert. Alex Hill with the basketball for Arkansas Tech. Looks to drive. Cut off by Fear Day. Picks up her dribble. Fear Day left her for some reason. Then Hill missed the layup. Defensive rebound by Hayden Pitch of Maryville. I think that was one of those cases where Alex was yeah. surprised she was so wide open. Top of the key, Cotter. Hands it off to Stugert. Stugert passes on the right wing to Pitch. 19 on the timer. They feed it down low to Cotter. Turn around off the window. No good for Cotter. Defensive rebound by Sarah Edmondson of Arkansas Tech. Eight minutes and 28 seconds to play. Arkansas Tech leads by 20 here at Tucker Coliseum. Looking for a bounce back win after that loss to Washita on Saturday and Dave Wilbers wants a timeout. Eight minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 65, Maryville 45. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and make it one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. At Centennial Bank, we believe serving our community goes beyond assisting with financial needs. We pride ourselves on being community connected and customer focused. Supporting our community starts with our employees. We enjoy rolling up our sleeves and helping make our community a better place. Our local bankers are a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our community. That is why Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. Centennial Banks, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lenders. Chicken Mart is having a gigantic customer appreciation event. Buy one, get one free sale going on now at both the Arkansas Avenue and Weir Road location. Over half the store will be buy one bag, get one bag for free sale items. Breaded chicken tenders, breaded chicken fillets, breaded chicken nuggets, boneless and skinless chicken breasts, chicken wings, and breaded popcorn chicken will all be buy one bag, get one bag for free while supplies last. Hurry in, supplies are limited. Eight minutes and 21 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Shelly Butler, Clara Grace Prater, Julie Wagner, Haley Weirich, and Patius McDaniel are the five for Arkansas Tech. Gracie Stugert, along with Carly Feldman, Hayden Pitch, Carson Fearday, and Antoinette Musarisi for Maryville, as right now Pete Kelly, our official scorer, having a conversation with one of the officials. And I think this is related to trying to figure out whether or not that technical foul on Maryville at the beginning of the fourth quarter counts as a team foul or not. So they're trying to get that resolved to know what the count is so they'll know when to put Arkansas Tech into the bonus. He also just changed the possession arrow. And so now the official is explaining to Maryville head coach Britta Hand why things are transpiring the way they are. Coach Hand doesn't look terribly amused by the information, but the game will go on either way. Eight minutes and 21 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech leading 65-45. Clara Grace Prater passes right wing for her teammate, Patience McDaniel. McDaniel with 24 points. Now Wagner with it, goes left, back out to Patience. Right, 
Wing dribble by Patius McDaniel. Shot clock at two. Throws it out to Wyrick. Nobody's looking for shot clock, and it's a turnover for Arkansas Tech. Shot clock violation will be the 15th turnover of the game for the Golden Suns. As just nobody ever happened to look up at the timer. No, close games, you got to be aware. Right now, it's a 20-point lead for the Golden Suns with under eight minutes to go. So hopefully that mistake will not bear importance here today. There's a traveling violation against Hayden Pitch yep. as Maryville turns it over for the 15th time. A little bunny hop before she took off. Two sides are now even in that regard, both with 15 turnovers. It'll be Clara Grace Prater to bring it up floor for Arkansas Tech. Prater dribbles right, passes on the wing for Haley Wyrick. Wyrick goes left, shoots an 18-footer. It is short, defensive rebound by Carson Fearday of Maryville. Into the front court come the Saints. Drive by Fearday, gets to the rim, misses the layup, rebound, tipped out by Prater, but right to Musarisi, and a bonus possession for Maryville. Shot clock at 14 as Pitch takes the handoff on the right wing. Hayden Pitch goes left. Behind a screen from Feldman, shoots a three-pointer. It is good from the right wing for Hayden Pitch. Her second three-pointer of the day. She's got nine points. And with seven minutes and 13 seconds to go, it's 65-48, a 17-point lead for Arkansas Tech. Into the front court, Patience McDaniel. She loses her dribble out of bounds, and the officials say it was last touched by McDaniel. Coach Wilbers felt pretty strongly that Maryville had touched it last, but the officials disagree. Alex Hill returns for Arkansas Tech in place of Clara Grace Prater. And now Dana Thompson will also check in for the Suns. She will replace Shelly Butler. So it's Alex Hill, Julie Wagner, Haley Wyrick, Dana Thompson, and Patius McDaniel as Coach Dave Wilbers has his starting five together again. 7.03 to go in the fourth. Arkansas Tech leading 65-48. Golden Suns. Only two points so far in the fourth quarter and now a foul committed by Alex Hill and it'll be three free throws for Hayden Pitch with six minutes and 56 seconds to go. And nobody has told the Saints this game is out of reach. Nope. They're, still, they're still playing hard. Nobody was called. That's the kind of foul you don't need right there. Nope, letting them score, potential to score three points if the clock stopped is not helpful. Hayden Pitch is one out of two at the free throw line today. For her career, Pitch, as we mentioned earlier, a 76% free throw shooter. Now the second of three after she made the first one. The second one is also good. And a chance now to cut the Arkansas Tech lead down to 14. Golden Sun scored the first two points of the fourth quarter. Since then, it has now been nine in a row for Maryville. And what was a 23-point lead is down to 14. Alex Hill into the front court, defended by Hayden Pitch. Feeds it left wing for McDaniel. Now Wyrick. Wyrick. Two dribbles to her right. Now goes back to her left. Gets a pick from Dana Thompson. Tried to give it to Dana on a pick and roll, but the pass was deflected by Feldman. Stolen by Feldman. Stolen back for the Golden Suns at midcourt by Patience McDaniel. Ahead to Thompson. Out to Wyrick. Wyrick dribbles right. Gives to Wagner. Now to Patience McDaniel. 23 on the shot clock. 6.24 left in the game. Arkansas Tech by 14. Post entry pass for Julie Wagner. Stripped away and stolen by Hayden Pitch. Golden Suns have committed five turnovers in the first three minutes and 45 seconds of the fourth quarter. Dribbling on the left wing, Pitch. Pitch goes right. Pitch drives, stripped loose by Alex Hill, and it went off the leg of Pitch out of bounds. The Golden Suns will get it on the Maryville turnover. Nice defense there by Alex Hill to force the 17th turnover of the day by the Saints. Just a slow roll there off the leg. Deflected in the backcourt by Fear Day. She lays it up and in, and she's fouled. A three-point play opportunity for Carson Fear Day as the Golden Fearday. Suns turned it over against just moderate pressure in the backcourt. Fear Day made the steal, laid it in, and now she will shoot one on the foul against Dana Thompson, her fourth personal foul. And to the line goes Carson Fear Day, who is seven out of seven at the free throw line this afternoon. We need to get our focus back. Fear Day with 19 points, she will shoot for her 20th. It is good. Second consecutive game that Fear Day has gone over 20 points or more for Maryville. Now another turnover in the backcourt, another steal by Fear Day, and another foul against Arkansas Tech. And Carson Fear Day right now giving the Golden Suns all kinds of fits in the backcourt. The foul is on Clara Grace Prater. It is her second after the turnover. And now all of a sudden, Maryville which has scored 12 consecutive points. Now they're going to say the foul was on the floor, so no free throws for Fear Day. That's a break. Inbound pass will be made by Pitch into Fear Day. Fear Day drives, layup, up and good. 
14 unanswered points for Maryville, 552 remaining, and the lead for Arkansas Tech is down into single digits. Now a foul committed by Gracie Stugert, just shy of midcourt. Stugert commits her fourth personal foul. Team foul number one on Maryville this quarter. And Dana Thompson will make the inbound pass for Arkansas Tech. Gets it into Alex Hill. Hill trapped in the backcourt, tries to dribble away from it. Gets to the top of the key, now surrounded by three defenders. Passes to Prater. Left baseline jumper, no good for Prater. Rebounded for Maryville by Antoinette Musarisi. 5.33 to go. A 14 to nothing run for Maryville. Musarisi, free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound, out of bounds to Arkansas Tech. I believe. Are they going to say this is Maryville's basketball? I don't believe there was a Golden Sun anywhere in the vicinity of that. I guess they're saying Dana touched it as it was on its way well, out. Number uh, Stugart pushed, pushed Dana pretty hard. Uh, I think Dana was wanting to foul. Okay, no, that, it, is, it is the Golden Suns basketball. They, there was no missed call on possession. Now a foul committed in the backcourt by Maryville. They foul Alex Hill. Team foul number two on the Saints this quarter. Sarah Edmondson, Patience McDaniel, Alex Hill, Clara Grace Prater, and Julie Wagner are the five on the floor. Inbound to Hill. Hill, they look to trap her in the backcourt. Needs to start making some progress toward the timeline with 25 on the shot clock. Gets it ahead to Sarah Edmondson. Over the timeline goes Sarah. Pass to Clara Grace Prater. Now Alex Hill takes the basketball. Passes right wing for Patience McDaniel. McDaniel feeds it into the post for Wagner. Wagner finds the cutter. Prater, turnaround jumper off the iron. No good. Defensive rebound by Carly Feldman. And it's a, stole, a steal at midcourt by Alex Hill. Turnover, Maryville. Layup, no good for Alex Hill, but a foul against Carly Feldman of Maryville. Feldman gets her third personal, and it'll be two free throws from Arkansas Tech's Alex Hill. Hill to the free throw line. She is three out of four at the free throw line so far today, and they will take the media timeout now. Four minutes and 54 media seconds time. remaining. Arkansas Tech 65, Maryville 56. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. I'm a teacher. I am a banker. I'm a father. I am a mother. I'm Muskie Harris, former Arkansas Razorback. I have 26 years of recovery. Are you looking for a great place to work that offers great pay and benefits? Or you can make an impact in a safe, clean environment. ConAgra is looking for motivated, energetic people to join their team. ConAgra has recruited industrial maintenance technicians to fill openings on all shifts. Positions start at 2561 an hour plus a shift differential. Experience is required. So for immediate consideration, apply online at ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. That's ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. ConAgra is an equal opportunity for you. Kelly, what do you see as some of the big keys for the Golden Suns? What do you see as some of the big keys to the Golden Suns as we go through these final four minutes and 54 seconds? Just taking care of the ball. They, they're uh, not taking some very, very good shots the last two or three trips down the lane. And they're just, they just need to be more patient. They're kind of trying to rush themselves, trying to get a shot off. But, hey, they've got the lead. They ought to be able to just uh, take some uh, air out of the ball, get better shots, and maybe hit some of these free throws too. Alex Hill misses the first of two. She is now three out of five from the free throw line this afternoon, trying for her 10th point of the afternoon. Here with four minutes and 54 seconds remaining, and the Suns leading by nine. The second free throw is also no good, and it's rebounded for Maryville by Antoinette Musarisi. Ahead for Stugert. And now Musarisi gets the basketball back, gives it right wing for Carson Fearday. Fearday goes left, gives it on the right wing for Hayden Pitch. Down low to Feldman. Feldman was able to free herself from her defender, misses the first try, second try is also no good, and Sarah Edmondson gets the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Patious McDaniel into the front court. McDaniel drives, finds Wagner, right baseline jumper, no good. Golden Suns now have still have not scored a point since those two free throws to begin the quarter, five minutes and 36 seconds without a point for Arkansas Tech. Stugert drives and dishes for Fear Day. Carson Fear Day 
backs her defender down, spins to the baseline, turnaround jumper, short, Fear Day fights for her own rebound, tips it to Musarisi. Musarisi dribbles out of traffic, 15 on the timer, 4.07 left in the game, Musarisi drives, feeds Feldman, Feldman is fouled on the floor. This will be team foul number four against Arkansas Tech, so no free throws for Maryville. Julie Wagner gets her second personal foul. Dana Thompson checks back in for Arkansas Tech. And Sarah Edmondson checks out. Four minutes and three seconds to go. Maryville on a 14 to nothing run. Golden Suns have committed seven turnovers in the last five minutes and 45 seconds. And now they'll get the basketball back on a held ball as Dana Thompson able to block the try from the right baseline by Carson Fearday on the jumper. Possession arrow gives it to Arkansas Tech. Inbound pass for Alex Hill, trapped in the backcourt, throws it across for Dana Thompson, and Dana walked with the basketball. Golden Suns with their 21st turnover of the day, and eight of those have come here in the first six minutes and two seconds of the fourth quarter. Inbound pass will be made for Maryville by Hayden Pitch. Pitch lobs it out to the left wing for Faith Hawthorne. Hawthorne lost the handle, out of bounds to Arkansas Tech. Maryville commits its 19th turnover. We have seen 13 turnovers and four made field goals so far in the fourth quarter. Yeah, her teammate. They take it away from Hill at midcourt. Musarisi with the steal, gives to Pitch. Pitch dribbles to the right wing, back out to Musarisi. Fakes, drives, offensive foul on Antoinette Musarisi as she pushed off on Alex Hill. Musarisi gets her third personal foul. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Getting a little sloppy right now. Three minutes and 44 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech trying to hang on after the Golden Suns led by 23 early in this fourth quarter. It's down to a nine point margin right now. Dana Thompson with it in the backcourt. Defended by Hayden Pitch. Goes left, hands it off to Alex Hill. She's double teamed. And a timeout taken by Arkansas Tech before the Golden Suns just avoiding the 10 second call. So timeout Arkansas Tech. 335 remaining, Golden Suns lead 65-56. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Blue Ball's affordable, portable buildings, the River Valley's oldest full-service portable building dealer. You'll find Burnett affordable buildings and CNH carports for garages, barns, carport sheds, and more. At Blue Ball's affordable, portable buildings, they believe in high-quality buildings that last and excellent customer service that makes a difference. Visit Blue Ball's affordable, portable buildings.com or just stop by 4151 South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville today. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees' products and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at UNF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact UNF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4000. 69. Three minutes and 35 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech trying to fend off a comeback bid by Maryville University. The Golden Suns lead 65-56 with 3.35 to go. The Golden Suns have not scored a point in six minutes and 25 seconds. They are going to the replay monitor right now for to evaluate something. I'm not real sure what. Golden Suns in this fourth quarter, 0 for 6 from the field with nine turnovers. They have completed their review. They are looking up toward the clock. I think it was a matter of determining what, how much time should be on the shot clock, and they have put it to 22. And so that's good news from Golden Sun. That means Arkansas Tech will get two seconds now instead of one to try to get it over the timeline. Be very important. So this pass probably needs to go into the front court for Arkansas Tech with only two seconds to get it over the timeline. Clara Grace Prater will throw it in about six feet away from the front court on the far sideline. Gets it into Alex Hill. Hill guarded in the backcourt by pitch, and that's a 10-second call against the Golden Suns. Alex Hill unable to get the ball over the timeline in time, and the Golden Suns out of the timeout commit the 10-second violation. It is the 10th turnover of the fourth quarter for Arkansas Tech and the 23rd of the game. Into the front court comes Antoinette Musarisi. Three and a half minutes remaining. Golden Suns by nine. Pitch has it at the top of the key. Man-to-man -man defense for the Golden Suns. Musarisi goes right. 
Throws it on the left wing for Fear Day. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound, Hawthorne tracks it down in the far corner. Maintains her pivot foot under heavy pressure from Julie Wagner. And a timeout taken by Maryville. Three minutes and 11 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech leads 65-56 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a 30-second break. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Fellner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kabu, Keen, and many, many more. Fellner's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined, experience the familiar faces at Fellner's and help you with all your athletic needs. Fellner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. Three minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 65, Maryville 56. The basketball belongs to the Saints following the timeout. Both teams have two timeouts left. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor Maryville. And both teams are one foul away from going into the bonus. Musarisi dribbles the top of the key. Three-point try, no good for Antoinette Musarisi. Rebound, whistle, foul on Arkansas Tech. Julie Wagner called for a push from behind after Faith Hawthorne had the offensive rebound. The foul on Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. I've got her for three, Kelly, you just got her for two? I've got her for three now. Okay, I, that's what I've got too, so we'll go with that. The official stats only have her for two, but we'll go with three for now. Since both you and I have that. What are the chances both you and I are wrong, really? If you think about it, zero. Faith Hawthorne makes the first free throw. Right, second free throw forthcoming <laughs> for Hawthorne. It is up, it is good. She got them both, four points for Hawthorne. 302 remaining, that's the first points for anybody in two minutes and 50 seconds. And it cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 65-58. It's now 16 unanswered points for Maryville. And the Saints will get a chance to add to their string as Alex Hill called for walking in the background. It is the 11th turnover of the fourth quarter for Arkansas Tech. Golden Sun still have not made a field goal in the fourth period. And Maryville gets the ball down by seven. Inbound to Antoinette Musarisi. Musarisi goes right, leans in, pivots, throws it back out to the right wing for Stugert. Gracie Stugert dribbles left to the left wing, hands it off there for Pitch, three-point try, good for Hayden Pitch. Pitch with her third three of the day, and what was a 23-point Arkansas Tech lead is down to four on the Pitch three-pointer. Suns get it over the timeline this time, that's victory number one. Clara Grace Crater circles around at the top of the key, gives left wing for Patience McDaniel. Work around for a good shot now. McDaniel dribbles right, gives it up on the wing for Alex Hill. Alex Hill drives, pass down low for Dana Thompson. Thompson shoots over two defenders, no good. Musarisi has the rebound. She goes down to the floor. Should have either been a foul or a traveling violation. It was neither, and Maryville out there with the basketball. Right side for Stugert. Stugert drives the baseline. Out to Fear Day to Musarisi, left side. Pitch, three-pointer, good! Back-to-back three-pointers by Hayden Pitch, and with a minute 57 to go, it's 65-64, as Maryville is now on a 22 to nothing run. Drive by McDaniel, layup won't go, tip in good by Dana Thompson with a minute 46 to go. That's the first field goal of the fourth quarter for Arkansas Tech, and it makes it a three-point lead for the Golden Suns. 67-64, Musarisi drives, gives left side for Fear Day. Fear Day drives the baseline. Shot blocked by Dana Thompson, rebounded by Patience McDaniel. McDaniel will push it the other way. She's got Wagner in front. McDaniel drives, offensive foul, Patience McDaniel. Absolutely ran over Faith Hawthorne, lowered her shoulder and the whole bit. Turnover Arkansas Tech. It comes the minute 22 to go. The foul on Patience McDaniel is her second personal foul. And the basketball, third personal foul, my apologies. And into the front court comes Maryville, down by three with a minute 15 to go. Musarisi passes left wing for Stugert. Stugert defended by McDaniel, goes right. Picks it up at the top of the key, 13 to shoot. Musarisi dribbles on the right wing, gets inside the painted area, dribbled it off her foot, diving to get the loose ball. Clara Grace Prater with 59 seconds to go. Into the front court come the Golden Suns. Up by three with 52 seconds to go, and a basket right here could go a long way for the Golden Suns. Just work the clock down, work it down. Arkansas Tech, one of nine from the field in this fourth quarter. They need their second field goal of the period right now. 40 seconds left, 12 on the shot clock, as Patience McDaniel dribbles top of the key, guarded by Fear Day. Goes right, gets into the lane, traveling violation. 
the 13th turnover of the fourth quarter, the 26th of the game for Arkansas Tech. And with 33.8 seconds remaining, Maryville gets the ball down by three. Arkansas Tech led this game 65 to 42 early in this fourth quarter. Since then, it has all gone wrong. Stugart dribbles on the left wing, defended by McDaniel. Bounce pass out front for Hawthorne. She gathers the basketball, 20 to shoot. 22 seconds left in regulation. Fear Day with it. Fear Day, three-pointer to tie, is off to the left, no good. Rebound, loose in the paint, out of bounds. Last touched by Arkansas Tech. And Maryville will maintain possession, and they will call a timeout. 14.7 seconds left. Golden Suns lead 67-64. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. As a dentist, giving patients a beautiful smile is what I love to do. But the business side can be challenging. Luckily, First State Bank understands. They provide financial tools that make banking convenient, flexible, and the service I get is second to none. From equipment loans to cash management solutions, they give me the freedom to focus on my patients, not my payroll. Now that's something to smile about. Come see us at First State Bank in Russellville or Fayetteville for local personalized banking. Back at Tucker Coliseum, 14.7 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 67, Maryville 64. Both teams are in the bonus. If the possession arrow becomes a factor, it will favor Maryville. The Saints have one timeout left. Arkansas Tech has two timeouts left. And Kelly, it's important here, if the Golden Suns can get a stop and a defensive rebound, it's important to go ahead and call that timeout before you dribble. That way you get yeah. to advance the ball into the front court. Push it into the front court, and that way you work a little bit more clock off, hopefully. Pass the ball around. If, if you don't get a good shot off, at least you're going to pick up a foul, hopefully, because they won't be able to mess, mess around too long with that clock, being only 14 seconds. The first thing, though, is getting the stop, and Maryville is four out of seven, 57% from three-point range in the fourth quarter. They'll likely be looking for either a quick two or to work around the perimeter for a three. They've certainly got some good perimeter shooters in Carson Fearday and Hayden Pitch. Pitch has hit four three-pointers here today. Fairday has hit two. Fear Day, I should say, is hit two. And the basketball belongs to the Saints with 14.7 seconds remaining. And Arkansas Tech leading 67-64. It'll be Gracie Stugert to make the inbound pass for Maryville. Jackie Rollins has checked in for Arkansas Tech. The inbound pass will be made by Stugert. Stugert gets it in left side for pitch. She was had her shot blocked. Rebounded by Clara Grace Prater of Arkansas Tech. They pushed Prater to the floor. And Clara Grace will be shooting free throws with 10.1 seconds left. And that's two big plays that Clara Grace Prater has made down the stretch here. First with 59 seconds left, diving on the floor for a steal. And now blocking the three-point try by Hayden Pitch with 10 seconds left and getting the rebound and drawing the foul. And now Clara Grace Prater, a chance to make it a two-possession lead for Arkansas Tech with 10.1 seconds to go. Prater at the line for the first time today. First shot is on its way and good for Clara Grace Prater, a career 80% free throw shooter. She is now seven out of seven at the line this year. She got the first one. And she got the second one. And the Golden Suns lead by five, 69-64. Timeout Maryville. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Hi, this is Mike Giroux with Giroux Associates and Medicare Specialists of Arkansas. I'm here to remind you that the Medicare annual enrollment period is open now through December 7th, and the open enrollment period for the Affordable Care Act health plan is available now through January 15th. Call us to schedule an appointment with a local agent to make sure you have the coverage that best meets your needs for 2024. Also, if you've received notice that your plan is not going to be available next year, don't delay. Call today, 479-857-2810, or check us out at GiroulAssociates.com. 10.1 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech leads 69-64 thanks to a couple of big plays down the stretch by Clara Grace Prater. Inbound pass to Stugert. Eight seconds left. She hands it off to Fear Day. Ahead for pitch. Pitch tries a three-pointer. It is short. Dana Thompson with the rebound, and the Golden Suns are going to escape here today at Tucker Coliseum. Dana instinctively calling the timeout after the rebound, just so the Suns could advance the ball into the front court, but it's not gonna matter now with just one-tenth of a second remaining. Arkansas Tech will earn the bounce back win here today as Dana Thompson secures the final defensive rebound. We will keep it here through this break in the action and 
Kelly, you know, we'll discuss it with Coach Wilbers in a moment. The measure of a person is how they respond to adversity. Clara Grace Prater faced some adversity here on Saturday in the loss to Washita, but she bounces back here today, and when it yeah. counted most, she came up with two big plays. She's got two points today, but those were two critical points right there here down the stretch. And it, they give her credit. Some things you don't see, like on the stat sheet, like you said, two good defensive efforts down here, create turnovers, tough rebound, picking up the foul put this game away. They put four tenths of a second on the clock. They are still looking at the replay monitor right now to determine exactly how much time should be left. It's really kind of elementary at this point though with a five point lead and somewhere less than a second left. It'll be Clara Grace Prater to make the inbound pass. Reminder, the Wonder Boys play at Tucker Coliseum tonight at 7 p.m. We'll have a little break for supper and then come back to see the Wonder Boys take on the Central Baptist Mustangs at 7 p.m. tonight here at Tucker Coliseum. What are you thinking for supper? I don't know, whatever the boss says. <laughs> the well, boss, that sounds pretty good. The boss being Seth Ray. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Seth, he may, what do you think he's in for tonight? The, the, the chicken, six, the, chicken nuggets? The six-year-old always, always has first priority. He kind of likes that chicken. If he's happy, everybody else is happy. They are still looking at the replay monitor in a five-point game with four-tenths of a second remaining. I have no idea why, do you? I don't know. Maybe they're looking at the menu for their supper. Maybe they're trying to figure out what they're hey, going to order. That could yeah. be it. They, they'll get it to go, I bet. Inbound pass will now be made in the front court. I guess maybe they were looking to make sure that Thompson didn't rebound. She clearly did not. Or did not dribble, I should say. Oh, oh. Yeah, make sure she didn't dribble. And thus, the advance. Now the Suns throw it in. The game's over. Final score from Tucker Coliseum, Arkansas Tech 69 and Maryville 64. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for 30 seconds and then come back to talk it over with Coach Wilbers on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. Golden Suns win back in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. The Arkansas Tech Golden Suns improved to four and two on the season with a 69 to 64 win this afternoon over Mary Uni Maryville University in a non-conference game here at Tucker Coliseum. Maryville falls to two and seven on the year as the Saints suffer their fifth consecutive loss. And now four of those five losses for Maryville have come by five points or less as they fall on the road here today at Arkansas Tech and the Golden Suns do indeed avenge that three-point loss that they suffered at Maryville almost exactly one year ago up in St. Louis. And the Golden Suns will resume conference play now on Saturday against Henderson State. That'll be a 1 p.m. tip in Arkadelphia on Saturday for the Golden Suns as they will get back into conference play and try to get over the 500 mark in the league against the Henderson State Reddies at 1 o'clock on Saturday. We will, of course, have that one for you here on the EAB Sports Network. And following his 346th win at Arkansas Tech, we're about to be joined by Dave Wilbers, the head women's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech after he absorbed some harassment from superfan Charlie Bragg. And we are joined now by Coach Wilbers. And, Coach, I was talking with Kelly there toward the end of the game. A measure of a person is how they respond to adversity. Clara Grace Prater faced some adversity on Saturday. She faced some adversity here today, but when it counted most, she dives on the loose ball down here with a minute left, and then she blocks the shot at the end, and those were the two plays of the game. Yeah, and uh, you're, you're exactly right. And she made a couple big plays and then made two free throws. Yes. I mean, the kind of the way the game was going, you know, we needed those free throws at the end, but uh, you're right, and that's what we need out of those experienced players that have been through this before, just some good composure like that and, and make a couple good plays. It's pretty typical this year that you play five good minutes, five not so good minutes. That's kind of the way basketball goes in early December. You played about six great minutes at the beginning of the game. That was nice to really get off that 18 to nothing lead. And then I thought one of the other keys in the game, the thing that gave you a comfortable enough lead that you were able to hang on at the end, Patience McDaniel really asserted herself in the third quarter. Yeah, just making some good drives and some good pull-ups and, um, you know, you know, credit them a little bit. They they came at us and uh, really got on the offensive boards, which hurt us. But, um, yeah, we made some good plays and, um, you know, just a fantastic start to the game. But, 
you know, the facts are facts. The game's a 40-minute game, and there's ebbs and flows of a basketball game, especially with our team this year so far. But, you know, this would be a good learning experience with our players. And also a good confidence booster for folks who didn't get a chance to see it in person. Uh, this Maryville team, they're very comparable. They'd be, they'd be a good team in the Great American Conference, and to get a win over them is, is definitely a, a good thing. You're right, Sam. I mean, their their record, you know, is maybe two and five, two and six. But you look at their scores, they're playing everybody within four or five points, and they haven't been behind like they were to us all year long, playing some really good competition. And uh, their coach does such a good job, and their coaching staff. And, um, you know, they're a good team for us to play. Well, now it is on to Arkadelphia, down to Henderson State on Saturday. As you look ahead to the Reddies, what are some of the things you'll want to try to work on between now and Saturday Saturday to get ready for them? Well, we're going to take uh, tomorrow off because we've been going eight days here, you know, with such some tough road trips and a lot of basketball games. And um, then we have finals, you know, coming up Thursday, Friday, and we have a bunch of good students on our team, you know, which is always a factor. But I think Saturday they'll be fine. But uh, very good team, uh, the, uh, Henderson State, very well coached. They, you know, Coach uh, Jill does a great job with those guys. They're always very tough. They run good stuff. And uh, it'll be a big challenge over there at Arkadelphia. We'll see you there. All right, thanks, Sam. That is Dave Wilbers, the head women's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech, following a 69 to 64 win over Maryville this afternoon. This is the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. Let's take a look at the final numbers. Maryville was 19 of 67 from the floor today, 28 percent, including 9 of 31, 29 percent from three points, and the Saints were 17 out of 19, 90 percent at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 23 of 48 from the field today, 48%, including 4 of 10, 40% from three-point, and the Golden Suns were 19 of 26, 73% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech outscored Maryville 29 to 12 in fast break points. The Saints had six assists and 21 turnovers. Arkansas Tech with eight assists and 26 turnovers, and the Golden Suns know they will have to clean that up going into the game at Henderson State on Saturday. Individual leaders first for Maryville. It was Carson Fearday, just two points shy of matching her season and career high. 22 points here today for Carson Fearday of Maryville. Hayden Pitch had 18 points for the Saints. Five points for Gracie Stugart for Maryville. Then it was also five points for Maddie Meehan. Faith Hawthorne had four points for the Saints. Riley Mulvaney, two, three points and two points apiece for Annika Plemer and Antoinette Musarici for Maryville here today at Tucker Coliseum. Arkansas Tech led to victory by Patius McDaniel, 24 points on 8 of 12 shooting from the field, and she was a perfect 8 out of 8 at the free throw line in this one. Nine points for Alex Hill. Alex also had four steals on the day for the Golden Suns. Julie Wagner with eight points and five rebounds. Haley Weinrich with eight points for Arkansas Tech. Shelly Butler had seven points this afternoon for Arkansas Tech. Dana Thompson four points and seven rebounds, four points, six rebounds, and two assists for Sarah Edmondson. Clara Grace Prater with two points, four rebounds, and two steals, one of which came with 59 seconds left, diving on the floor to get a loose ball. And then she also blocked a shot in the final moments, and those two defensive plays by Clara Grace Prater allowed Arkansas Tech to hang on and win this one. Jackie Rollins had three points today for Arkansas Tech. Elena Leho and Jordan Rollins also appeared in the game for Arkansas Tech as the Golden Suns win this one by a final score of 69 to 64 here on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. Golden Suns go to four and two on the year. Maryville falls to two and seven, and the Golden Suns will return to action on Saturday at 1 p.m. That means a 12:45 pregame show here on the Alathus Real uh, here on the uh, EAB Sports Network from the Alathus Realty Broadcast position. We'll be with you 12:45 Saturday from the Duke Well Center in Arkadelphia as the Golden Suns will try to make it two wins in a row. We want to send along special thanks to the athletics communications professionals from these two institutions of higher learning, especially Daniel Gallegos and his outstanding team here at Arkansas Tech, as well as Eric Moyer from the Great American Conference. They provided all the facts and figures we were able to share with you this afternoon. We're grateful, as always, to Brother Stephen Berry, who did a great job as our chief studio engineer. We thank the many sponsors who make it possible, and thanks to you for listening. Golden Suns win 69-64. Our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics on the EAB Sports Network is coming up in less than two hours. We'll go on the air at 645 as the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys will try to make it five wins in a row tonight. They're hosting the Central Baptist College Mustangs 
tip-off at 7 p.m. Hope you can join us in person and right here on the EAB Sports Network. Until 6.45 p.m. from a broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, I'm Sam Strasner reminding you that Jerry says fight on. So long, everybody. Arkansas Tech University basketball.